Hi, this is Jack Lipton, and it's Critical Materials Corner. Today we've got big news. The President of the United States has issued his American Jobs Plan. That's, that's the official title of this very long document, which details how the United States government is going to spend nearly $2 trillion on infrastructure, alternate energy, uh, disadvantaged communities. Let me say that my expertise is, is going to be about alternate energy sources. And the gist of the president's plan is that he wants to have uh, the entire U.S. go to electric vehicles, and he's kicking that off with uh, ordering the federal U.S. federal government to buy only EVs, and that's uh, 700,000 vehicles. Of course, that'll take years to implement as they were out are replaced. He's also dedicating $170 billion, I believe it is, to the U.S. Uh, OEM automotive industry to uh, help them to convert to EVs. Uh, that's big news for them. Most important, I think, for uh, our viewers is that he's uh, selected and identified rare earth element separation as a goal to be funded under this plan. Also, uh, uh, uranium mining, nuclear reactor construction, things like that. What interests me is that although he said they want to invest in rare earth element separation, that's a quote, what I don't understand is there's nothing in, in the bill about where the rare earths are to come from. So separating them is, is nice. Uh, perhaps it will be a, a American federal hobby. But um, there's nothing in there whatsoever about where they are to come from. So I, I look forward very much to hearing the convoluted explanations from our American politicians on how they're, what they're planning to put in these rare earth separation units. Uh, my suggestion would be uh, perhaps the U.S. Uh, cheese surplus or something. I, I don't really know what they're talking about, but I do know that this bill is filled with straw men, or excuse me, for you younger folks, straw persons. It, it is focused, target on climate change, it says, the existential uh, problem of our time. And uh, the other thing is to counter the autocratic ambitions of, of, the, of China. Now, what's interesting to me is, uh, last time I checked, the Chinese aren't doing anything to counter the ambitions of the United States. And, and, and just to summarize this, in my opinion, what this is all about is a bunch of octogenarians, i.e. the American Congress and executive branch, uh, trying to cover up the fact uh, that they've screwed up the U.S. economy for the last 80 years, their lifetime, since World War II. And now they're saying, well, it's climate change and the evil Chinese. I, I, I still have my, you know, hate the Russian sweatshirt, so I don't know what to do. I guess I'll have to get some new ones about the Chinese. The fact is this plan is a holy mess. Now, uh, that won't stop uh, the American natural resources industry uh, from, from uh, climbing aboard, and it's going to be good for all the North American junior uh, mineral producers or wannabe producers, the juniors. So um, 1.9 trillion U.S. dollars is, is sitting there on the platform, and, and there's, a, there's a rope. And everybody's behind the rope, and they're going to fire a gun into the air, hopefully. And then you all run for the money. So good luck. Good luck to all you young folks. And that's my report for today.